and they have been in hibernation for the last 17 years. Once they come out of hibernation, though, the males create that mating call, which is the iconic sound that we hear, and they will be around for six weeks with the sole purpose of reproducing. And when the new generation of cicadas hatch, they will go back into the ground and then won't emerge again until 2013, 2036. They're pretty loud individually, and then when you have between a million and a million and a half per acre, which is the extreme end. I mean, they, they aren't always that dense, but they've, they've been recorded up to that many per acre, and the sound is just deafening. Indeed, it will be deafening. And I can tell you, weather plays a huge role on when those cicadas will actually emerge. I'm holding a thermometer gun with me right now, and I'm going to take a look at the temperatures at the ground at the surface. And right now, they're mostly in the low 70s. But what's more crucial is what the temperature will be on the ground just a few, a few inches below the surface. It has to be about 64 degrees for the cicadas to emerge. And I can tell you, I just checked with the National Weather Service. Right now, the temperatures a few inches below the ground are right now around 60 degrees. I can tell you it's about late May before those cicadas will start to finally emerge across our area. So heads up on that.